Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be going over all of the firebug weapons in Killing Floor 2, ranking them from the worst to the best. Now this was a very strange and kind of hard to put together list because firebug really doesn't have any bad weapons, assuming you're running skills that are strong with them, or you have levels with them. Um, a lot of their weapons get very strong with whatever perk skills you're running. Um, a good example of this would be like the cock and burn isn't really that good until you get ground fire, where ground fire suddenly makes the gun very amazing um, and can be used for a very long time throughout the waves. So keep that in mind whenever I talk about these, and it won't necessarily be only based on the skills because some of these weapons are pretty strong with any of the skills that firebug has or no skills whatsoever. Um, and I'll be explaining each of these because I feel like they deserve a little bit more explanation because Firebug is such an odd class. So currently Firebug has 10 weapons right now. So starting out at number 10, we have the Cock and Burn. Um, I put the Cock and Burn here because it's kind of strange. So as I stated earlier, it is very strong with ground fire. Without ground fire, it's pretty weak. Uh, with upgrades, it's laughably bad. Um, its upgrades are horrible for it. So the cock and burn weighs 5, it holds 50 fuel, uh, it does 10 damage on direct hit as well as 10 ground fire damage and then damage over time based on the fire, how long the fire lasts, if the fire spreads, what other perks you're running that make the fire stronger. This is where the cock and burn really gets its strength from. It has upgrades but as I said they are laughably bad. At max it gets 50% stronger which is not very much. Um, it goes up to a weight of 9 and it just it doesn't really feel like you're upgrading it. Uh, it feels virtually the same with zero upgrades as it does with all the upgrades. But as stated before, if you're running different skills like high capacity fuel tanks and ground fire, the cock and burn can last you a very long time. Firebug is one of the few classes that really doesn't need to buy anything, even on Hell on Earth, for quite a while. You can just use this, refill its ammo every round, and pretty much save up for whatever weapon you want, and you really won't be at any disadvantage. Even if you die at that point, you're only losing the cock and burn and you can just come back with another one. So it is pretty good there, um, but I feel like all that needed to be explained as to why it's in the number 10 spot. Uh, at our number 9 spot, we have the MAC-10. The MAC-10 is a tier 3 weapon that is shared with both Firebug and SWAT. It weighs 4, it holds 32 rounds, it does 28 damage a shot as well as doing fire damage. It has an 895 rounds per minute rate of fire. Uh, and there's really nothing wrong with the MAC-10. Um, its upgrades are okay, it gets 15% more damage with each upgrade going up to a max weight of 6, which is very manageable. You can put this with pretty much any other weapon you want. So it does have a lot of utility. It's pretty good as a backup weapon, it's just not the best as a primary weapon. Uh, especially for Firebug, where this does generally low damage, and a lot of their weapons already do kind of low damage, but make up for it in other ways. Um, and I don't think that this one is as strong as some of the later weapons that we're going to be talking about. It's actually really good if you're running the uh, level 25 perk that allows you to have infinite ammo when you're firing it, because this thing has a really high rate of fire, and you can easily kill a lot of small stuff with it. Um, that Then it's really fun to use. Um, so yeah, the MAG-10 is not a bad weapon at all, it's just um, a somewhat situational weapon and mostly to be used as a backup weapon, so that's why it scores kind of low here on our list. Coming in at our number 8th spot, we have the HRG Scorcher. This is a tier 3 uh, firebug weapon, this is modeled after the grenade pistol that the demo has. This weighs 4, it holds 1 shot, and only 1 shot, even with high capacity fuel tanks you do not get a second shot, uh, it can only hold 1. Um, this has two very unique uh, fire modes. With its primary fire, it fires out a flare that can hit a target, doing 333 damage to them and then burning them over time. The flare will stick into the target, you can see it very clear. With the secondary fire, it will fire out a broken flare that travels um, over a pretty long distance that if it hits something will do 70 damage as well as spawn a bunch of floor fires on the ground that will do damage over time. This weapon is another very situational weapon. It can be really, really good in any sort of long hallway, or especially if there's only one way enemies can come, you can uh, easily cut off their path and kill a lot of small things with this. It's very strong for that. It's also very strong for running away with. 
um, especially if you have the ground fire ability because you can fire the broken flares just directly in front of you and just run across your fire. Any small enemies following you will just pretty much die instantly from that. Its upgrades are pretty good. It gets 20% more damage with each upgrade, uh, going up to a max weight of 6, which again, very manageable. This is another really good secondary weapon to have. So much a primary weapon because you can run out of ammo with it kind of easily. Um, it's not the best against large enemies, but it can do decently against any sort of medium enemies, and it can soften up large enemies like Scrakes and Flesh Pounds. I wouldn't recommend you be actively trying to attack Scrakes and Flesh Pounds as Firebug. Um, at least as the first one on your team, it's fine if, you know, a bunch of people are attacking it, then go for it. Uh, but you don't really want to get a bunch of Scrakes and Flesh Pounds angry with your fire. Um, that kind of goes for all of Firebug's weapons. At number seven, we have the Microwave Gun. This is a Firebug Tier 4 weapon. Um, this is a very unique weapon as well. This weapon weighs 9. It holds 100 fuel, ammo, energy. I'm not exactly sure what it holds. It has the same rate of fire as the Cock and Burn and the Flamethrower. It does 16 damage on direct hit um, with its primary fire. With its secondary fire, it fires out a big concussive blast that hits everything, knocks everything back, and does 210 explosive damage. This weapon also does 10 splash damage from its primary fire. It can cause ground fires that do damage, and it does damage over time, but this inflicts microwave damage as well as fire damage. So you have two different damage types with this, actually three if you count the secondary fire doing explosive damage. This makes it a very versatile gun because of how many different damage types it has. Microwave damage is one of the strongest damages in the game because it does uh, very high damage to any enemy holding metal, so strikes, flesh pounds, sirens, uh, any of the bosses. It's pretty strong against them. With its secondary fire, it's extremely good at zoning enemies away, too. You can easily push enemies back, and its secondary fire is very strong against things like flesh pounds because it counts as explosive damage and microwave damage, um, two things that are flesh pounds are particularly weak to. The only thing, in my opinion, that's kind of holding the microwave gun back is its weight. It weighs a lot. Um, with its one upgrade, it does get a little bit more damage at 15%. That's not a whole ton. It, it's a decent amount for its explosive damage. But for its main fire damage, not the most, and it goes up to a weight of 10 then. At 10, it does become difficult to take various weapons. You could take this with a Mac 10 you could take this with a Scorcher, you could take this with a Medic weapon. Um, all those are pretty decent options. Uh, but then this is going to be pretty much your primary go-to weapon for killing everything, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's pretty good at killing most stuff. Coming in at number 6, we have the Dragon's Breath. This is a Tier 2 weapon. This is a cross perk weapon with fire, bug, and support. It weighs 5, it holds 6 shots in it, it does 35 damage per pellet, firing out 6 pellets, uh, and these pellets spawn fire, dealing 8 damage to any enemy hit, as well as spreading fire and dealing damage over time. Uh, this weapon also upgrades fairly well at 10% increments, going up to a max weight of 8, um, which isn't too bad, it's still fairly manageable for Firebug. Uh, this weapon is another pretty good weapon overall. It has some drawbacks to it. Um, it is one of your better weapons for fighting large enemies because it does do high damage per shot. That being said, you probably don't want to be using this to uh, instigate fights with flinch, with flesh pounds and scrakes, but uh, it does work great on crowds, and if needed, if a scrake or a flesh pound is raging and after you, this can work um, pretty well at killing them. Where it kind of falls down is that it holds a limited number of shots. This can be remedied if you're running the high capacity fuel tanks. Then it goes from holding 6 shots to 12 shots, which is much better. Um, it has a fairly slow rate of fire because it is a pump action shotgun, so you do have to kind of wait in between each shot. It's not terribly bad or anything. Um, and this weapon does reload fairly slow because you do have to reload one shell at a time. So it still does have some limitations, but it is quite a good weapon. It's also very good at spreading ground fire. Halfway through the list at our number 5 spot, we have the HRG Incinerary Rifle. This is the tier 3 uh, firebug weapon that is the M16, but for firebug instead of commando and demo. This does 30 damage a shot, doing fire damage. This also has the grenade launcher underneath that does 230 damage on impact, 100 explosive damage and then damage over time as well as can spawn floor fires with the grenade. The uh, machine gun part cannot spawn floor fires at all. This weighs 6, and it holds 30 rounds, or and as well as one round underneath in the grenade launcher. This weapon does scale pretty well with upgrades at 20% increments, uh, going up to a max of 8 weight, and the upgrades do increase the grenade as well, but not the floor fire that it spawns. 
uh, only the impact of the grenade and the explosion of the grenade um, are increased with upgrades, not the floor fire. Uh, this weapon also has a high rate of fire, the same as the M16 at 669 rounds uh, per minute, which is pretty good. It has very clean iron sights, just like the M16. If you really like using the M16 with Commando or with uh, Demo, you're really going to like this weapon too. It's essentially the same weapon, not as much explosive damage, so it's not as good at fighting cl uh, Flesh Pounds, but it's still okay at fighting them. Um, and th to be clear, the M16 is not way great against Flesh Pounds in the first place, but you can do it. The This weapon, you can still do it, but it's even weaker. Um, this weapon is stronger against crowds and against certain medium enemies like bloats. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the dual spitfires. This is a tier two firebug weapon, as well as a gunslinger weapon and a sharpshooter weapon, at least with one of them. Uh, these are the fire pistols. They hold 12 shots. They weigh four. They do 40 damage per shot, as well as damage over time with each fire. Um, they do have a pretty high rate of fire at 545 rounds per minute, and they are great at spawning floor fires. Um, these weapons are really, really good on Firebug. Um, they're not particularly great on Sharpshooter or Gunslinger, as I've went over in those videos, where those classes don't benefit from a, don't benefit from their kind of inconsistent fire as much as Firebug does. Firebug does not really care if it's hitting the targets, uh, you know, square in the head or not. You can just fire at something's feet and spawn a bunch of floor fires and let that kill it. This is an amazing crowd clearing weapon. It does struggle against big enemies though. But at only 4 weight, it's not bad as a secondary weapon or even as a primary weapon because when it is fully upgraded, it actually scales very high with upgrades, going up by 25% increments. Uh, it does go up by 2 weight and then another 2 weight with its last 2 upgrades, so it does go up to a total weight of 8. That's still fairly manageable. You can take another firebug weapon and use the Spitfires pretty well when they're fully upgraded. Uh, Spitfires are just pretty great all around for killing really any sort of small or medium Zed. The only thing that they kind of struggle against is larger Zeds. They're also amazing if you have the uh, infinite ammo and, and real-time rate of fire uh, level 25 perk that Firebug has. You can light an entire room on fire with these and pretty much just watch everything and it just burn to death almost instantly, it feels like, as soon as the Zed time ends. Um, it is crazy how strong they can be. In our number three spot, we have the Hus Cannon. The Hus Cannon is a tier four firebug weapon. That's a cross perk weapon between firebug and demo. This weighs eight. It holds 30 shots, kind of. This weapon does 100 damage on direct hit, uh, 40 of that being impact damage, 60 of it being explosive damage, as well as causing fire. Um, this can be changed as much as you charge it up, though. You can charge up the Hus Cannon to full, where instead of doing 100 damage, it will go all the way up to 500 damage, increasing its overall radius. Uh, this is Firebug's hardest hitting weapon, at least per hit. Um, it can do a lot of damage. It does very well against any sort of large enemies. It can do pretty well against small enemies by just spam firing it. Um, you'll likely have enough damage just to kill things like crawlers, stalkers, uh, even up to bloats and other medium zeds fairly quickly by just spam firing it, or you can charge it up and fire out a shot that does a lot of damage and has a very high stumble chance um, against things like flesh pounds. It's very strong against flesh pounds, and it's decently strong against strikes. Still not one of the best weapons to fight strikes with, but not bad. This is also a really great boss fighting weapon too. It can do so much damage to the bosses. With its one upgrade, it doesn't get a whole lot more damage. It gets 10% more damage which is still a decent amount when you count in how much you can charge it up. Um, that's for one additional weight, taking it up to a weight of nine. Nine is still manageable. You can still take other weapons with this. Um, six weight isn't too hard to fit into a loadout. Uh, or you could just keep it as eight and then have seven weight that you can play with. I do that pretty frequently whenever I want to take it with a flamethrower. I find that combination works fairly well. At our number two spot, we have the flamethrower. The flamethrower is just the big brother of the cock and burn. It holds 100 rounds of fuel in it. It weighs seven. It's a tier three weapon, so you can upgrade it twice. Uh, this does 18 damage on direct hit, uh, five splash damage and 10 ground fire damage, as well as damage over time from the fires and the ground fires. Um, with its upgrades, it doesn't really get that much better. It's very similar to the cock and burn in that way, where it Gets 15% more damage with its first upgrade, 5% more with its second upgrade, and going up to a max weight of 9, which is not that great. Um, it's honestly a weapon that's much better if it's unupgraded than if it's upgraded. 
um, at least in my opinion, because it just gives you more flexibility with your loadout. You can take a uh, stronger weapon and not just have, you know, a nine weight flamethrower and have to go with a six weight, whatever your secondary is. Uh, the flamethrower is honestly probably one of the best, if not the best crowd killing uh, weapons in the entire game. It's extremely strong against any sort of small or really medium enemy, although it is fairly weak against large enemies. It's not great against scrakes. It's not great against flesh pounds. You can use it against them. You can kill them with it, but it is going to take time. The ground fires are going to be doing a lot of the work. And then coming in at our number one spot, we have the Helios rifle. This is a tier five firebug weapon. This weapon weighs eight. It holds 40 rounds in it. It does 50 damage, although this is all microwave damage, which once again is one of the strongest damages in the game. It has a 600 rounds uh, rate of fire. And um, this weapon is just fantastic at pretty much everything. It can fight off really anything. It's strong against all sorts of Zeds. It has plenty of rounds in it for you to be using against small enemies. It does enough damage to one-shot headshot them a lot of the time. Um, it can kill medium enemies very quickly. With microwave damage, you can kill the robots incredibly fast with this weapon, and it's extremely strong against pretty much any of the bosses. It's also really good for fighting Scrakes and Flesh Pounds with, too. Um, there's really no weakness to the Helios rifle. Very flexible weapon, very good. Um, at eight weight, you can take a lot of other weapons with this. You could take something like a flamethrower if you want more crowd control. Um, you could take the Scorcher if you also want more crowd control or uh, heavy single target damage with its uh, primary fire. You All of those work just fine. Really, any other firebug wor weapon works pretty well with this. Even going off perk and going with like a medic weapon will work just fine with this weapon. No complaints about it, and it really just fits pretty much every role. So this was all of the firebug weapons um, ranked worst to best. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so very much for coming out here and watching this. If you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you get notifications whenever I post anything live. And thank you guys also very much for all the support that you guys have been doing recently. I really do appreciate it. I just want to tell you guys all thank you. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.